Holy fucking shit. Was that hot? How's it going, everybody? It's Slapchuck here again. Today is something a little bit different. I'm going to review something. Something that I did yesterday. I guess you could call it a challenge. Um, you know how everyone does, like, hot sauce challenges? Well, I was in a new mall that was created a few months back in where I live in Vancouver here. It's called Dwasin Mills. Inside of it is a store called Pepper Palace. <coughs> Inside that mall, or inside that store, I should say, um, you can taste test sauces before you buy them, which I thought was awesome, so I started taste testing. And I came across one that they recommended I should try based on my heat tolerance. It was called Flashbang. Where is it? There? 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 Flashbang. Um... Because it was the hottest sauce that they had. Uh, you have to sign a waiver for this hot sauce. They basically said, one drop is all you need. If you would like five drops, and you can withstand the heat, you get your picture taken and put on their Hall of Fame. So me, being the idiot that I am, I decided to do it. Why the fuck not? I'm good with spices. So she starts doing the drops. I have two little kids there. They're like, oh my God, you're going to do it? Can we watch? So they stand off to the side. They're standing right beside me, giggling with their phones and stuff. They're like, I can't wait for it to hit them. She hands me the spoon. She says, don't put it on your lips. This is pure extract. Your lips will go numb. So I put it on my tongue. Let it go. Swallowed. Don't think dirty thoughts. So it's going down, my numbs, my tongue's starting to go numb, heat's growing, but I mean, not that bad. With the intense spices out there, usually it comes in waves. It just comes at you and comes at you and comes at you. And then I knock shit down, and that has nothing to do with spices. Anyways, um, but it wasn't that bad. Like, I, I started to get a little bit red, um, my eyes teared up a little bit, I just... I just went like, ah, uh, was all good. I was fine. Taste this, did a couple more sauces. The, the kids were like, well, what the heck? It didn't even phase him. I'm like, yeah, yeah, bitches. Yeah. This is how a man takes hot sauce. But little did I know, about an hour down the road, I was going to be paying for it. So I start walking through the mall. It's about... 15, 20 minutes, and it, it's it's going down, right? It's go, by the way, you like my t-shirt? It's uh, Adventure Time, but Stranger Things themed. Fucking awesome. Love both those. Anyways, I <clears throat> start feeling it going down, and my stomach is just turning and turning. Like it, It's almost like I feel it coming through my chest, right? And... And I'm like, okay, I can handle this. Like, I've, I've had pains like this before. Um, like, four, three years ago, I had gallstones. And so, if any, if you've ever experienced gallstones before, it's a very... It's hard to explain what the pain is like. Basically, I, I could deal with it. I could deal with the pain. I would bend over. I would go by a toilet or something like that. And I would just wait for the pain to go away. This one, like, at first, it was fine. It's just like little tiny stomach pains. That's fine. Just take deep breaths. It's all good. So I go home and uh, we're going to order pizza for the night. And I decide, well, it's been a while. It, my stomach isn't bothering me anymore. I, I had some water. I had some pop. It's not affecting me at all. I'm like, let's cool down my stomach a bit. So I decide to go and grab some ice cream. Because if you ever watch people that do these hot challenges... They go right for the ice cream or milk. So I sit down with my ice cream. I take one spoon, down it. I'm okay. 
So I'm just sitting there, and then I take another spoon, and I go to eat that, and it starts to go down. And I guess the first one hit. I don't know what the fuck that hot sauce did, but there was some sort of science experiment going on in there. And this pain just started coming and, like, pushing, and my eyes were just wide open, and I didn't know what the fuck to do. My fiancé was flipping out. She's like, what, what, what? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I go right to the bathroom, and I just keel over the toilet, and this pain is just coming and coming and coming. So, so intense. I had no clue what to do. Like, and she's trying to talk to me. Do I need to call an ambulance? Like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just let me breathe. I'm trying to focus on this pain. I try and make myself vomit to no prevail. And I, I basically just sit there with my head in the toilet, just taking really, really fast breaths. And, and it goes away, and then it comes back. And then it goes away, and then it comes back. And, and it starts to subside, and she comes in there like three times. I'm like, just leave me alone. Let me focus. <clears throat> Eventually it starts to go away and I get up and, and I'm just doing this for you for aesthetic reasons here, but <laughs> I get up from the toilet and my, my fiance is in shock because she sees me like this. I'm basically dripping sweat because whatever pain I was going through made my body profusely precipitate down my physical area. That was a bad decision. Ugh. So, nice! Ugh. So I feel like I'm okay. Go to the couch, lay down, just touch my head. And I'm pale, by the way, at this point. I have no clue what the hell is going on. She's like, are you good? Are you good? Did you learn your lesson? I'm like, yeah, don't have ice cream after that. Or don't have super spicy hot challenge shit anymore. Just deal with normal hot, hot shit. Because I like spicy food. <laughs> and I, I thought I handled it fine. It was the aftermath that I had to fucking deal with. And I didn't even know about that because they never told me what might happen. She's just like, don't have water immediately after. It'll spread the fire. It's not going to do anything for you. So I just let it be. She didn't say, don't go home and drink something because there's going to be a fucking volcanic eruption in your ass. Not not my ass. I still <laughs> wasn't my ass. It was my gut. Gut, guttinal area. Um, yeah, so I had some water. Just let it kind of sit for a bit. Our pizza showed up. I, I taste tested a pizza to see if I was going to fucking die on the inside again and come be brought back to life. And uh, pizza was good. So I don't know what the hell happened there with the ice cream, but <coughs> it just <coughs> it destroyed me for like a good six minutes of just agonizing pain. And then about 5-10 minutes of recovery on the couch. Just sipping water. So my review for Flashbang is... That's good! Um, but be careful. And if you cannot handle spices, do not... I repeat, do not... Try it. Because you will pay. Anyways, that does it for this video. Um... Hope that helped you at all. If you ever want to try Flashbang, um, the place I got it from was called Pepper Palace. Go to the website, check it out, whatever. Um, yeah, and if you like spices, just go out there and keep on spicing. Uh, I thank all of you guys for watching this video. Uh, leave a like if you... Well, how I usually say it is slap the shit out of that like button. Subscribe for more videos. We'll see all you guys next time. Shit. Uh.